Fuck it. Alrighty, pal. Uh, here at LAX. My parents drove me, just said bye to them. And uh, about four, five, I'm almost five hours early for my flight. So we were picking up my mom because she was actually uh, arriving here. I don't know, I love being at the airport. Um, some people hate it, but I really just enjoy being at the airport. Now I'm waiting in line at the gate. I am slightly nervous and stuff about this whole trip, but I don't know, it's gotta be spontaneous, it's gotta live life, right? I don't know, it's pretty cool though, but the line's like huge, like it's packed right now. I didn't think so many people would be here. I had my GoPro on when it was going under and I was like kind of sketched out. I'm like, oh no, will I get in trouble? Like the lights blinking and shit. No, no trouble, like totally fine, just went through. But then for some reason my laptop got checked. I'm like, what the fuck? My shoe fell in my laptop bin, which is like pretty funny. <laughs> so I was walking around with one shoe for a minute. They wouldn't give it to me because they're like, oh, I have to inspect this. I'm like, all right, dude, can I have my fucking shoe, please? It's like 12.45, okay, at night or a.m. whatever I'm really sleepy honestly and uh, we board the plane in like 20 minutes Excuse me, sir. can you put this one in the backpack? yeah yeah sure no no sir. arrived the funniest moment of my life so there, there's this um, nice little Asian lady sitting next to me on the plane um, and she, and so she was like we, we started like chatting and talking and like there was a big language barrier but like we were still like communicating because um, she was Vietnamese and I know a little bit of Vietnamese like really basic stuff so I was saying like hi how are you like blah 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 and she was like oh my god like she was so stoked on that and she, so then she's like she pulls out her phone and goes on a, shows me a picture of this like really cute Asian girl and she's like this, this is my daughter and I'm like I'm like damn yeah she's really beautiful like really pretty right hey how are you how are you What's up, guys? This is my friend. Hi. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that was so funny because that lady, that was the one I was talking about. <laughs> and she goes on Facebook, goes to her Facebook, and she's like, oh, like, what's your Facebook? She's like, adding me. So basically, she was like, wing, wing mom and me, like, real hard. She's trying to like, set me up with her daughter, which honestly, like, I'm cool with. Like, I'm not. Opposed to that, yeah. So I'm currently in Taiwan for a connecting flight. It's pretty cool over here. This airport's very quiet uh, compared to LAX. It's crazy over there, but this is like all chill. Um, Taiwan's really beautiful too. So I got a couple hours to kill. So I got about two hours to kill right now. So I'm really hungry. Uh, so I'm at this Taiwanese restaurant. It's pretty lit, as you can see. Um, I got some food. Check it out. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if this is like traditional Taiwanese food, but it's pretty bomb. I don't really know what it is though. And you know, it's really important when you visit different countries to embrace the culture, you know, by eating the different foods. So really, I'm just trying to really appreciate the culture. Like right now, I'm appreciating culture. Oh, that's some good culture, guys. <laughs> the name of this restaurant? Check it out, Bistro Smiley Face. It's like, hey bro, have you been to a Bistro Smiley Face? Oh yeah, I love Bistro Smiley Face, bro. Like, I, mean, I don't get that, I mean, it's a cool name. I'm not hating. Okay, why don't we look at some Snapchats that you guys have been sending me. Aga Far Poor, I don't know what that says. Are you Iranian? Yes, bro, cool. 
Here's a sample of my work. Lit. What else we got? Happy Walrus. Hey, Aruba. Aruba? Aruba? God damn it. Aruba. Aruba. All right, sup, home, slice. Yeah, see, I, snap I like Snapchatting you guys. If you want to talk to me sometimes, just go on Snapchat. Add me, Simply Aria. I'll put a thing up right now. And um, I try to, like, respond. I try to at least open the messages. You want some drug? Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. I'm just saying it's so nice of you to carry my thing. He's like, oh, let me carry that. I'm like, thanks, dude. <laughs> oh, look, this is beautiful. Wow. Guys, this is all like really lit. I'm just like taking, I'm a little bit like taken aback because like, I don't know, it's a new country. But it's really cool. I mean, it's really humid. That's the first thing. I feel all sticky. side of the road the wheels on the right side of the car instead of the left that's really weird to me because in America the wheel is on the left and you drive on the right side of the road how lit is this song yeah it's pretty lit huh <laughs> do you guys say that word here lit Lit. lit yeah it means like really cool oh um, uh, the, the song you mean yeah it's, it's really it's a good song, no, good song. Yeah. Okay. all right check out the parking job oh yeah because in, here in Bali, we don't give a shit. Yeah. So what's up, dude? <laughs> I saw one with like four kids and one mom on a scooter. I'm just like, how, how are you even doing this? We made another stop uh, so I could get a SIM card. You know me, you gotta have my phone, you know? So, so I could Snapchat for you guys, obviously. So let's get a SIM card. Hello. Got, got it, yeah. yeah. I just got it, yay, I got my SIM card so now I can freaking snapchat and be connected to society <laughs> and not enjoy my vacation <laughs> yes okay guys i didn't get a chance to give you tour of like my place and everything just because i was trying to chill and stuff but i met some friends i made some friends at the pool this is hannah Hi. and mike hey. they're showing me a really good time they invited me out because i have no <laughs> friends i'm like wow nice people invited me out because i have no friends and I, I i fucking rented a scooter and how how good was i at it I mean, you were a little slow, but it was fine. <laughs> yeah, no, I was pretty ass, honestly, because <laughs> it's so sketch. But um, yeah, we're at this barbecue place. Literally, they make the food right there. And then the beach is right here, if you guys could see. Bali is like very beautiful, and I'm, I'm enjoying life. So look, this is how you get the food. I got all this. All this food I just got was for like five bucks and it's like amazing and like yeah. really good and yeah. like look at that like so how, good how does we can make some friends bali 16 yeah about to film and drive with the steady cam don't try this at home Okay, so this is just a quick tour of my place. It's pretty like those surfboards You could just take them in the morning and like here's my door number eight very nice and beautiful Then over here is like the pool. It's pretty lit as you can tell. All right, GoPro It's just you and me now And the audience the fans um, So yeah, this is the first time I've really had a chance to just sit down and talk to you guys straight to camera There's a lot of like really important things that kind of happened that I didn't really get into at the time, but I'm gonna give you the backstory now. It's all gonna make sense, and you're gonna be glad you heard it. Because um, not everything is as it seems. You know, in vlogs, 
not just me, but everyone does vlog. We try to do like cool things, things that you guys enjoy, but there's a lot that goes behind it. There's a lot of things you don't see. So let me just start by saying, wow, like I, ha I was wearing the same fucking outfit for like three days straight. Fuck that black shirt and those black pants and that hat. God damn. I literally made a like last second decision to travel to Bali, like literally last second. Traveling on your own, I've never traveled to a different country on my own. Super scary, but it's actually like once you're there, you're just like, all right, it's me against the world, you know, it's just me. And it's dope to travel with friends, for sure. But it's just different to travel alone, and I wanted to try it out. So it really forces you to like, just step out of your comfort zone, get out of your shell, and like, you know, you have the power to literally just sit in your apartment or sit in the hotel room for two weeks straight and do nothing and be depressed or you have the potential to have like the best two weeks of your life. I got here and I'm like, all right, like, well, what do I do? Like, what do I do myself? It's like five o'clock, like, I don't know. And then I'm like, there was this couple uh, sitting outside who you saw them earlier, uh, Mike and Hannah. And for literally like five minutes straight, I was just contemplating like, should I go or should I not? You know, is it weird? Is it creepy? What if they think like, oh, that weird guy who like lives right next to us, like all that shit. And I didn't want to be that weird guy. But then I thought, I'm like, Okay, nobody fucking thinks like that. Come on, like, if you're just friendly and nice, like, even if they do think you're weird, like, who fucking cares? Like, just go say hi, like, go be chill. So I went to the pool, I hung out, and then, like, we you know we started talking and just chatting, and they were really nice, and they invited me out to go to that barbecue with them, which I was like, oh, wow, like, cool. And then, like, when we were talking and hanging out, they were like, I was like, oh, do you know anyone else who's in this complex? And they're like, no. And then they're like, yeah, we were just like sitting out there all day. Like we were hoping that somebody would just come talk to us because like we were like, oh, we want to meet people. So I'm just like, when they said that, I'm like, oh, like it's not weird to talk to people. It's not weird to like get out of your comfort zone and be yourself. You know, and I, I realized that like people are like, they were just like me, you know. I came on this trip and I want to meet people and have fun. And like they're the same way. And like a lot of people are like you. Like a lot of people just want to, meet nice genuine people and we don't because like we're too scared or society says it's weird or maybe our own self-esteem tells us oh no like you shouldn't do it or like that voice in your head is like nah don't talk to her don't talk to him whatever also riding that fucking scooter was the scariest fucking thing it's so sus especially i'm driving on the left side of the road when normally i drive on the right side in america fucking sketch and but that, i don't know i'm good at like bikes and skateboards and stuff so i kind of got the hang of it and I hope that was like pretty cool GoPro footage too. So yeah guys, I'm gonna go to bed and um, tomorrow I'll take you surfing with me, like literally surfing with me. So I'll see you then, deuces.